Woody's baby. And the doctors are sure? Taya says that they have done everything that they can, but nothing's working, so now she's just... She's just waiting. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it sounds to me like it's the opposite. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, she's marrying your dad again tonight. I mean, it seems like they're not wasting a single second. Oh, but it still sucks. This will be their third marriage, and just like the others, it'll be over before it even began. Do you ever regret marrying Tom? Marrying him the first time wasn't the best choice I ever made. It certainly didn't do my reputation any favors. <laughs> and it hurt a lot of people, especially Todd and me. All for a payday. But when I really think about it, I don't regret any of it. How come? Because all my choices, the good ones and the many, many colossally bad ones, all brought me to this moment. Ultimately, they brought me to Todd, and they gave me the most special gift in my whole life. You, Preciosa. Besides, it's not like we didn't have a spectacular do-over <laughs> to make up for our first wedding. Our second wedding was a fairy tale come true. Who else thinks Eli's a psycho killer? Is that McPain? Let me talk to him. Uh, no one. It's an inside joke. So you said you wanted to talk to me about Eli? Yeah. Is he around? I, I thought maybe I'd take him out for a beer, you know, thank him for all the help he's given Cole. No, actually, you just missed him. So he was there? Yes, he was here, and he left to take care of some business. Oh, I, uh, I thought I had heard he might be out of town. Well, he went to New York to get me a beautiful engagement ring. Yeah, congratulations. Why, thank you. But I want you to know that you are still my favorite ex-husband. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, well, listen, I gotta run, but when I do see Eli, I will give him the message for you, okay? Bye. Jack! What are you doing? You're not going. Jack! New York? She didn't say anything about Boston. Obviously, Eli lied to her. Yeah, but she also just saw him, which means he couldn't have been in Boston killing Glenn. No. No, there has to be an explanation. Eli is our guy. I know it. And we have to find proof before he kills again. Where did you get those? I didn't get them. You did. That's never going to work. They keep a close eye on the medication in here. Yeah, you somehow got your hands on a phone. They know what a clever girl you are. You are distraught, alone, abandoned by everyone, even Cole, especially Cole. And then after all the terrible things you did, pushing Marty down the stairs and killing her baby, nearly beating Ford to death. All of those things you did! Well, they got under your skin and your guilty conscience just couldn't handle it anymore. So when the friendly nurse strolled by with the medication cart, you made the most of it. And when you were alone, you set out to finish what you failed to do before. You said goodbye, swallowed every last pill, yourself out of your misery. Forget it. You want me dead? You'll have to kill me yourself. So Eli lied about being in New York. I'm going to run down a story to make sure anyway. While you do that, I'll search Eli's room at the palace. No, you won't. Who else is going to do it? John, you're a cop. You need a warrant. As a cop, I'm also obligated to arrest anyone that tells me they're planning on committing a crime. It's not a crime if I sweet-talk Renee into opening Eli's room for me. Actually, that's about three crimes. And I'm not having this conversation with you. All right, you need to stay out of this and let me do my job. The man has killed three people. One of them is my mother, and now he's planning to marry my cousin. Which is exactly why you need to lie low, all right? We do not want to tip Eli off to this investigation. We already know he's good at covering his tracks. We don't want to let him destroy any more evidence, do we? There's no way in hell I'm killing myself for you. If you want me dead, take your chances and shoot me. Bravo, Hannah. I didn't think you had it in you. You don't know anything about me. Mm, I know a few things about you. I know how you feel about Cole Thornhart. You're in love. 
desperately, passionately, head over heels. And I'm going to tell him that right before I shoot him in the stomach and watch him sink to the bottom of Lantano River. Star, I need you to know I am so lucky to have you in hope. You are the most important things in the world to me. No matter what or who comes in and out of our lives. I love you. Jack Manning, you tell me about that fairy tale wedding between you and Todd. Well, things were rough after our divorce. So when we finally found our way back to each other, Todd pulled out all the stops. So if that wedding was so great, how come it didn't stick? Because uh, even though we loved each other very much, that, that time it was based on a lie. Well, what lie? Was there someone else? Did he cheat on you? God, if it only it were that simple. No. No, that time it just, it just wasn't meant to be. I'm sorry Todd hurt you. He learned his lesson. Of course, it took me another wedding to learn mine. About me. Keeping you from him was the most colossal of all of the colossal mistakes I've made in my life. And I am so sorry I did that to you. But it's over now. You're here now for our most important one. Yeah, now that you're finally getting it right, it's too late. No, no, it's not too late. You're here, so it's not too late. Actually, the timing is just right. What do you mean? Now that you know a little bit about my history with Todd, you can be sure not to make the same mistakes I made, okay? When you get married, Every time I get married. <laughs> <laughs> Just once, okay? Don't be like Todd and me. You could think of worse things. No, 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 no. You can't cry anymore. Stop. Okay, you can't get all puffy <laughs> for your wedding. And you have to get ready. Okay. Okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'll see you downstairs, okay. all right, honey? I heard every little bit of it. You have to give her every sort of detail. She needs to know. She's going to start asking questions. We have to fill her in on the stuff. Hello. What was that for? <laughs> Todd, I want you to know something. I don't regret any of it. Hmm. Well, we have some more time left. I'm sure I'll give you something. <laughs>